Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today it is January 28th of 2022. It's uh, 2 a.m. here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I'm making this video on my Windows my Windows 10 that's running on a you know an old Dell computer but the Dell computer has a excellent video card and has uh, I forget how much uh, video I've got in it now it, it's got uh, a lot of you know memory so but uh, so this is Windows 10 that I'm recording it on back here this uh, computer has uh, Windows 11 on it. Um, yesterday, at about 8 in the morning, I was, I never get long naps. I always get little, uh, two, three hours at the most. And I woke up and uh, I heard my ex-wife uh, yell help me and uh, when I wake up I always have to go immediately to urinate to the bathroom I mean immediately I don't ever I haven't, I haven't pissed the bed but I always have to get up immediately and go I went and had to go in the bathroom it was only there a very short period of time by the time I got out of this room, uh, Darlene, my ex-wife, was uh, sitting there at the door. She is confined to a wheelchair, but she was on, you know, on the floor. And uh, my son had already called EMS. Uh, she, the ex-wife, Darlene, said that. Uh, she had a bunch of blood come out of her and she when the paramedic showed up she told them that she thought she had like two cups of blood come out of her uh, they took her uh, really you know quick they didn't mess around and they went ahead and took her uh, you know she was taken to uh, a hospital here in Fort Worth and uh, My, uh, my daughter, you know, uh, my ex-wife's daughter, uh, she was about 30 minutes out of town working on a place that she owns. It's, uh, and she's having a lot of work done on the place, but she was out there. I was afraid to let her know being 30 minutes away which is you know not very far but I was a little bit afraid to let her know for fear that she would uh, you know drive too fast and uh, the whole thing but after a couple hours she called from out there to check on us to see if we were okay then I told her so she drove to the hospital and she was with Darlene in the hospital uh, until I think like she was there for the entire day I think until about 4 p.m. or whatever and uh, then she you know left and she came well she came here to fill us in on what you know what was going on but uh, of course she called from the hospital and uh, my ex-wife was admitted and she was losing blood there at the hospital and they were uh, thinking they were going to have to do a transfusion on her. Uh, they did not, as far as I know right now, they don't know where the, uh, where the blood is coming from internally. 
and uh, they were going to do last night a few hours ago I believe it was a CAT let's see can't remember which type of scan it was a CAT scan or uh, can't remember I was told but I can't remember and uh, Darlene was uh, having to drink that stuff that you drink I never had the procedure you know that she's having a uh, colostomy is that what it is where they you have to drink that horrible stuff and then uh, and they shove a camera up your rectum and look around with it inside you she was having to have that uh, so the last we've heard we don't you know we don't know where her blood is coming from so uh, Today that that's today that they're going to do. So last night they were after Hillary left. They were going to do the scan, and then today they're going to do that colostomy. And what else is going on with uh, with Darlene? Um, She's had all three of the uh, virus shots. I've only had two. And I was worried, of course, about Hillary being down there. Hillary's only had two of the shots. And uh, I, I did not notify our other two kids both in the Washington DC area uh, about it till about I think till about 4 p.m. yeah Hillary got here about 4 and then I uh, sent emails to uh, the other kids of course my son lives here Darlene's son too you know and uh, he was, you know, he was already aware of what was going on. So, Darlene is confined to a wheelchair. Uh, she, she was born in 19, let's see. I know her, let's see. She was born in 1948. I was born in 1941. Anyway, she was born in 1948. But uh, just before the polio vaccine was uh, discovered, you know, well, I say discovered, it's not like, you know, scientists went out and, you know, created it. Uh, it wasn't like they went out in the woods and saw something, you know. But uh, she missed, uh, she got polio before, just before the vaccine was developed. So that, as a little girl, she had braces on her legs and, uh, you know, difficulty walking and she had difficulty walking her entire life. She, of course, has post-traumatic, but post can't remember any words now. Syndrome, post polio syndrome or something. So those people who did, you know, get, you know, polio, some died, some were in iron lungs, you know, all types of, uh, all types of things. If they did survive, uh, when I was in high school, uh, there was a boy, uh, his name was Harris and mine being Howard. A lot of man, we were in the same homeroom group. So, you know, either he would be sitting in front of me or maybe I'd be, uh, I was starting to say, I'd be, maybe I'd be sitting behind him. You get the idea. 
I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, uh, he was real nice. He had a limp. That's what he was left with. Um, I remember, you know, polio as a, a child. Uh, I was born in 1941. And uh, summer would come around and uh, when I was a kid and they would announce on the, and I think that time there might've been only been one TV station. Maybe there was three then. Uh, I can remember uh, on the TV, that would be, you know, the local TV. There wasn't any CNN, there wasn't any satellites, you know. Uh, I can remember that you know, a local TV station would be reporting the number of polio cases and uh, movie theaters would be closed for the summer. Swimming pools would be closed for the summer. Uh, you know, anything where there was a, because, you know, a grouping of kids. And uh, it's kind of funny, uh, not funny, nothing's funny. Now people have heard of polio. Uh, before this virus, uh, some doctors did not know, you know. I mean, it was in their books when they were studying, but there was no reason for them to really, you know. I mean, they could skip that part and still be a doctor. But a lot of doctors didn't know what polio was. But now, uh, I think people do know polio's back, you know, in the news because people say there's people who don't believe in vaccinations and uh, the, uh, you know, that there's people then who say, well, you know, polio was uh, rampant and then a vaccine was discovered and until nobody remembers back, you know, remembers polio. But now polio can be used like, well, you know, vaccines do work because of, you know, there's no measles and there's no mumps and there's no polio. Uh, of course, there is polio in some areas of the world uh, where people are very religious and uh, they think, you know, that the Western world or uh, is uh, trying to vaccinate their kids in order to, I don't know, turn them into Christians or uh, I don't know what, I don't know what they, you know, what's in their minds, but uh, the World Health Organization, you know, the United Nations uh, Agency uh, has fairly recently, you know, had been uh, trying to get all the children vaccinated for polio and they sent you know health care workers I'm sure they you know they didn't just drop them in by parachute or you know whatever they talked to the government and uh, asked if they could come in and with the government I'm sure the government probably said you know sure great wonderful save our kids but people in those areas uh, kidnapped or killed these healthcare workers. The healthcare workers were not not part of the military or something like that. They were medical people coming in to give, you know. So that's why we know about. I worked with, with a doctor who had polio at a small hospital and uh, he had a limp. I never actually, I, I don't know of anybody that asked him why do you have a limp, doctor? I never ask him. I, if you'd have, uh, you know, I would have said, uh, probably, you know, probably had polio. But anyway, uh, one time a patient was there, you know, and I was in the emergency room also, you know, and I, uh, I was a hospital security officer for about 30 years. I did other kind of work in my lifetime. I was a border maker, a welder, 
I worked for the post office for a short period of time. I built railroad trains. I uh, built cars. I built, uh, or not tr I built trucks. I built giant trucks. Uh, uh, we had a, my wife and I had a fish shop for four years, tropical fish shop. Uh, I had a security patrol service for a little bit over a year. Did a lot of things, but. Uh, Anyway, how did I get on that subject? Uh, there was some point because, oh, anyway. <laughs> somebody asked that doctor, the ER doctor, doctor, why do you have a limp? And right away, the, uh, the doctor said, uh, Jim, you know, pointing at me and everything. I was, standing, I was standing there next to him, you know. He shot me in the leg. <laughs> he didn't laugh or anything, you know. So, uh, Darlene has, you know, a multitude of problems, one of which being, and she had that when we got, you know, when we got married. When we got married, she was 18 and I was 26. And she had breathing difficulty, asthma, bronchitis, you know, what have you. And she suffered from that a lot. And of course, I'm concerned about uh, uh, if she gets any kind of breathing, you know, and she's, Hillary said that, you know, one, they kept her in the hall. Uh, uh, I don't think she was in the hall when Hillary got there, but uh, she was in the hall, you know, with the virus going around, but then Hillary said that all the rooms there, you know, had signs on the door about the, you know, COVID virus. And uh, so Hillary is very sympathetic to, you know, to, she's very caring about everybody. And uh, when I was in the hospital for six days with, uh, the leg infection. Uh, they uh, discovered uh, my uh, lab work was very high for, they thought for a while that I had, uh, you know, liver disease or, you know, something like that. The fact that I'm actually drinking orange juice right now. I really don't drink water. I never have. I shouldn't be alive, you know. Uh, I'm sure my uh, numbers were interesting. How many people don't? Now I have Coke, and I usually throw, you know, ice in with the Coke. But uh, I have lived without water. Uh, probably not well, you know, but uh, anyway, anyway uh, Hillary was, you know, crying about me. You know, she came down to the hospital to see me, and uh, then I heard when she left and she came by to fill in, you know, Darlene and. Uh, our son uh, James uh, that she was crying you know and same when she came by here you know she was uh, you know crying about Darlene so yeah please get the uh, please get the vaccine you know that let's leave politics out of uh, you know, medical type of, of things. Uh, you know, it's, let's have science and let's have education and, and politics can be about, you know, other things. But, so my ex-wife is, if she would get
you know, a some type of a problem with her lung. You know, she has problems with her lung. Uh, but if she uh, she's very fragile when it comes to you know, like you know, breathing. That's where her polio, you know, <clears throat> it left her where she uh, had impairment as far as walking. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> the big thing with her was, you know, respiratory. Okay, so enough of that. I just wanted to fill you in because. I've had some people, and I don't blame those people at all, I've had some people say, you know, review products, uh, talk about computers, blah, 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 don't, but that's not, before there was Facebook, before there was, I was blogging, uh, before there was an Amazon, before there was, you know, all, you know, and this is what I've done. You know, with WordPress and Live Journal and all the everything, as things came along, as they invented things, I was there and was you know. Uh, so this is you know sort of what you get. I'm sorry, to, you know, sorry to say. Um, so I'll keep you advised about what's going on. Um, Anyway, I, as you know, I have these two computers. I paid for the new Manicam Premium, which actually you can't buy. I think maybe you will be able to on the 31st or on the first of the month coming up. I think that it will be. What they did was, like I owned like five lifetime licenses for their software. Um, uh, what uh, I owned like five licenses that were lifetime licenses. A couple of them were the identical, you know, ones. Uh, and they have a new Manicam special. I'm not sure what they're going to call it. Uh, I have it, and I'm sure some other people have it too, uh, because uh, they offered us a deal. Uh, $20 you can get it for twenty dollars, and on the thirty, on the first or the thirty-first or whatever it is, uh, after that, everybody who wants to buy it—of course, I'm sure they'll make a special occasion or something—but everybody who wants to get the new, uh, the price is going to be, I think, two hundred and twenty dollars or something for it. Um, And so, let's see. Oh, when you, like if you buy it now, you know, for $20, if you have any lifetime licenses, they're revoked. And, uh, So uh, they're making a they're making a change, and I guess they were obligated somehow. By the way, did I mention that this video that I'm making this time is uh, 4K and it's uh, 3840 by 2160? Unfortunately, right now I think I, maybe you're coming today, but that's going to be too late for me. Uh, for some reason, uh, 
well, I may I changed things around, but I was able to You know, I have 400 megs down and 20 up. And I was able to, like on this computer over here, I've, I'm getting, you know, 350 megs down and 20 up. And what I did in the past was I just ran a uh, networking cable from this computer over here the few feet over and plugged it in here and then I got you know high speed same high speed on both of them and I moved things slightly made a few changes and as you see <laughs> this is what I'm getting on this computer so it's going to take a little while to upload this uh, unless I moved this file over here and did that I think today I'm, I I have a ton of cables, but I could not find one long enough to, which is six feet or something like that. Uh, I don't know what happened to them all. Must have, I must have ate them or something. Uh, so I ordered a from Amazon. Uh, I made it up over here and oh here it is uh, yesterday I switched mice and this is the what do they call this uh, the Logitech it's about 40 or 50 dollars okay it's the M720 the reason I, I have two or three probably more but you know wired uh, mice but for some reason all of a sudden I move things around and the, the, it was pulling on me or whatever and so I, I've got the I got this one and have only used it a, a little tiny bit but it's very good and uh, feels really good. It'd feel a little bit better if I had a mouse pad down, but they're in one of my containers someplace. I have, you know, several. I have one of those mouse pads. It's a really long one or whatever. But anyway, uh, well, let me go to. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go to Amazon. Go to Amazon. Go to orders. Can you hear my stomach growling? Okay, it's tomorrow. So, uh, and of course it's 4K HDMI cable. 15 foot high wings 2.0 high speed 18 gigabytes HDMI branded cord supports 4k 60 Hertz HDR video 4k 2160 1080p 3d Well, tomorrow I will also get, uh, they're really good too, and at, at a good price, a Kirkland Walnuts, three pound bag, and that's coming tomorrow. By the way, I just uh, ordered on January 16th, today is the 28th, I ordered a Logitech G300 gaming mouse. Okay, I don't know where that is. It's <laughs> the other day, I've mentioned this, the other day I uh, 
in I think one day's time I order I paid for three different video video editing programs uh, so I'm interested to see this uh, now I've uploaded 4k before a few times and I wasn't impressed with it and I, I think I uploaded because I had a cell, cell phone. I still have it here. I should plug it in, maybe take a few pictures. Uh, it did uh, 3D pictures and uh, 3D video, I think, also. So it was a cell phone. It's here someplace. Uh, well, let's go and see if we can find. Let's go to. Let's see. Let's go here and go to YouTube. Uh, let me do a search. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time, I think. 3D. That's what we get. Okay, nothing showed up. I bet you I did not. See, what would you call something other than, uh, let's see, 3D video? Here it is. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like five. Looks like five of them. Should we take a look at them? Uh, let's see. Seven years ago. Nine years ago. Five years ago. Nine years ago. Nine years ago. Well, let's just start at the top of the list here. Test of 3D video out of the HTC Evo 3D cell phone time for a 3d video i haven't made a 3d video in a long time well a, since i got this camera which is the only thing that i have that can do 3d Three days, shall we find out? There I am in three D. Oh God, I look bad in two D or one D. Three D will be even worse. I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I'm not sure. Okay, end of three D video. I'm not sure if that if 3D would work that way. It shows, by the way, uh, what? These days, entry-level GPUs launch for new. You know, it shows in the uh, type of thing, uh, a 3D. I have 3D glasses, several pair of 3D glasses or someplace. Uh, anyway, if you just go to Click this back for you. Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Purchase day. Anyway, uh, I didn't see any point in three. You know, three D. Okay, how long is this video here? 31 minutes, so I think I better stop because, like I said, 
I've got to upload this thing and you know, I could wait, but I've got to uh, upload it and it may take a little while uploading. So uh, thank you for watching.